And I thought I'd make a little video of this. This is a Selma treble and bass Mark II. A friend of mine's brought in for a bit of a service, a bit of a look at. Um, not the original front panel. That is Perspex. It's got some cracks in it and sometimes painted it gold behind and the lettering is done with Letraset. Not too worried about the look of the thing. It's uh, really just for let's get it running and see what we can do with it. These, the, the gain's low. It's not very much output. Probably needs a few bits to look at. I've got the case. That's pretty good condition. But I thought I'd have a look inside it and see what's going on. And it would appear someone's been in here who doesn't have a clue what they're doing. Look at the state of it. Some component changes that have been done here. Some amateur work. Many original components, but her, huh, this isn't. I think you can see. And some very interesting work there. Uh, and here, obviously, couldn't find a 2K2 resistor, so let's put a couple of 1Ks in series. Very dodgy soldering. Here again. Component changes. This, oh Christ almighty, what's going on here? And these. That one there. No, don't want that. Let's just cut it off. Got a value that's almost right, so that'll do. Let's change the HT capacitors as well while we're at it and put some very interesting look wires just up in the air. These these are earthed. That's fine. It's earthed, but it's right next to the HT. Great. Wires just cut off doing nothing. Wires cut off doing nothing. Okay, technical. Complaining about the gain being low. Well, looking at this, this is the resistors that set the high and low gain depending on which input socket you're using. They should both be 68K in the circuit diagram. This one's 82K and that one there, 510K. What? What? This, of course, you're going to get low gain. Same on the normal channel as on the base channel. These here are... HT resistors for the normal channel. Can't find a 220k resistor, but hey, what we got here? 100k, 47k possibly. Pair of 470k's in parallel there. Okay, very nearly, not bad. Cathode resistor here. Couldn't find a 2k2, so let's use a couple of 1k's in series. And don't need that, cut that off. This is in the PI stage. They should both be, one should be 100K and one should be an 82K. Uh, that's a 100K. That's an original 100K there. What the hell is going on here? Don't know. This is a bias. So it's obviously you'll try to alter the bias voltage. The bias current. No, that's in series with, no, so I don't know. Um, oh, these are the bias resistors here. That's the bias voltage. This is bias resistors. What's, what's going on? Don't know. Um, couldn't find a 22 muff cap, so let's put a couple of tens in parallel. Yeah, who cares? It's it's hideous. It's absolutely. However, there's a lot of the original components in here. It just needs a good tidy up. I can replace some of the values. I can get them back to normal and hopefully get some sense out of this beast. I'll let you know when I've done it. But yeah, look at the, the beauty of it. Or not. 